Hello everyone, welcome back to VFX Perspective once again. Today's video is so much exciting. In this video, we will talk about Lot Pixel 3D Library. It's a massive 3D library which changed the game when it comes into the topic of making a realistic 3D environment. Throughout this video, we will be walking you through the process of creating a realistic 3D environment using Lot Pixel step by step. And the best part is this video is supported by Lot Pixel itself. So thank you so much Lot Pixel to supporting this video. So if you are ready to take your 3D environment skill to the next level, make sure to watch this video till the end. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos. So without much further ado, let's start the video. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5. So let's download some 3D assets from the Lot Pixel website. So simply open up their website. This one is their website. Okay. As you can see, lots of options are there. Here you can see the pricing plans. Okay. And these are their plans. So let's go to products and make sure you have to sign in with your login ID. Okay. So I will simply go to my 3D models and here i will choose some rock for my environment okay so i will simply go here in the search tab and i will search for volcanic rock and i will download all these rocks for my scene okay so let me show you how to download this so click any of this option and here you will see all the options that you need inside Unreal engine to create the material high poly or low poly LOD okay everything so first we have to see inside Unreal Engine during the material creation I only need albedo roughness and ambient occlusion nothing else okay so I will deselect rest of the things like specular grossiness diffuse if you want then you can use all these maps okay also I will deselect this displacement and metallic okay I only need this three texture map okay and for the model setting i will only use this high poly and i will deselect this lod 1 2 3 4 and 0 okay so that's all and if you go down here you can see the fpx and obj format whatever format you are okay with you can download that okay so i am using fpx and here you can see the resolution 8k you can imagine okay so that will be much more high quality okay but still i will use 4k only so i will select this 4k resolution and simply download and in this process download all that asset that you want to use for your 3d environment just spend some time in their library and you can see lots of things are there you can see decals are there okay you can see different kinds of decals okay you can choose from here all the different kind of decals are available and also you can see the textures you can see whatever textures you want just click on that and and you can see all the maps are available just select and deselect whatever you want and simply download that okay so i have already downloaded some 3d rock let me show you if i go to my profile and here you can see for texture i have downloaded only this volcanic rock ground texture and for 3d models i have already downloaded all this 3d assets okay we will use this all and here as the decals i have not downloaded any decals okay so let's create some scene using all these assets okay so let's jump into our unreal engine so here we are inside of unreal engine 5 so let's create a new folder for our lot pixel assets so right click here new folder and i will rename this as lot pixel then you have to see where the assets are downloaded actually so open your downloaded folder and here is all my 3d assets that i have downloaded make sure you have to unzip all the zip file okay that's important so what i will do i will select all the extracted folder and simply drag and drop in my content browser and here you will get this option if you want to use in lumen then simply convert it into nanite that will be work perfectly and then simply import all 
so as you can see everything is imported now so after importing all the files let's create a new level so go to file new level and here i will choose this open world for my scene so select and create so this is our open world so let's import our all the 3d meshes that we have downloaded so what we have to do you have to select your folder go inside any of the folder so first i will go to this volcanic rock and all you have to do drag and drop the rock in our scene okay so let's press it here and if i press f i will go to my rock so this is our rock so let's decrease the camera speed yeah now this is fine now you can see there is no material is attached to here so what we have to do we have to create the material so here you can see there is a material instance here so all you have to do double click this and you will go inside a material editor so all we have to do is simply minimize this i will place it here and i will add all this texture map okay all of this texture map and i will drag and drop in my material editor okay and i will simply maximize this again and i'm going to delete this one and then this is simple just connect everything according to its texture map okay so this one you can see this is albedo so i will connect this to albedo i mean base color and this one is ambient occlusion so i will connect this with ambient occlusion and this one is our roughness so this is connected to roughness and this is our normal map okay so that's all this this is how you can create material for all the 3 d assets okay so apply and save and make sure in this process create a material for each and every object or 3d asset that we have downloaded okay because it will take some time so as you can see i have created the material and applied to all my 3d meshes so let's start create the scene actually i'm going to delete this all i have pressed this only to show you so let's delete this all okay so let's uh, first i will add this one and we have to rotate this like this and i will increase each and every rock in scale of 5 okay i can work properly and i will place this little bit higher okay i will make a scene like little bit kind of slope okay so i will place this here and i will rotate this like this and next i will add this one and scale it like this and i will duplicate this one again like this how to duplicate just hold the alt key button and grab that object in any direction here i will place this little bit higher now i will create the base i know you may not understand what i am creating so let's start the base first so what i will do i will place this let me show you this one okay so i will place this in different scale different rotation and cover the area so let's drag and drop here and first one i will increase the size much more okay like 100 sorry 20 will be fine and what i will do i will decrease this scale in z direction just like this okay and rotate this one like this as i said i will make this like a slope okay this one and i will duplicate this again and i will place here and i can rotate this and again i will duplicate this to here don't worry we will add much more details on this by using the same rock
this is fine for me and actually I I have to change its angle little bit so I will place this like this that is my idea okay and again okay that's cool so let's add some small details here like this and for this time I want increase its size much more in same way I will spread this around all this area for their website much more rocks are also available there okay just rotate and place it anywhere you want duplicate the asset don't scale much more okay otherwise it will stretch out and it will not look good okay you can use all the different rocks here like this I am using So as you can see my environment creation is completed I know this is not good actually so take your time a good environment takes lots of time lots of details we have to add and lots of time it will take okay just understand what I want to say so now I will add a camera animation and we will render that so let's change the light direction to something like this and after then you can see this is looking so amazing okay so let's add a camera now so i will click here in cinematic go to cinema camera actor drag and drop and right click on our camera snap object to view and go to perspective and select your cine camera actor okay and here you can change the camera setting like 69 dslr and 30 mm and just select your angle where you want to take your shot so i will place this here and now i will add a sequencer so go to sequencer and add label sequence and i will save it and all you have to do is drag and drop your camera to this sequencer okay and that's all so here i have a five second timeline so i will place my camera wherever i want to place in the first frame okay so i will place it here and if you go down the camera here you can see the transform option and just add a keyframe here like this and just go to last frame and change your camera location wherever you want to add like i will place this like this one and here i will add another keyframe okay and i will select this both and convert this to linear okay and now if i play you can see this is super amazing okay so try load pixel assets this is really game changer so this is for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give a thumbs up to this video and if you know more about the load pixel 3d library make sure to check out their websites link in the description below and follow them in their social media handles so see you again in the next time have a nice day